What's going on, folks? This is LB The Realist with Surrealistic Studios, Surreal News, where the real is surreal. So, we got Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. They will be going head to head today in um, which would, might be the last debate of this Democratic um, primary season. They're saying that there could be another one. There was supposed to be another one in April, but this may be the last debate. Now, it was supposed to be held in Phoenix, Arizona. They moved the location to Washington, uh, D.C. There will be no live audience. Um, this is going to be hosted by CNN um, and Univision. Um, one of the moderators, George Ramos, actually was supposed to be moderating this debate. He actually uh, came into contact with somebody who had coronavirus. So I believe he's being quarantined at this moment. He will be not he will not be taking part in this debate or moderating this event. Um, so instead they got um, they got somebody, I forgot her name, but um, she represents Univision and Jake Tapper from CNN. So this should be interesting. Um, this is Bernie's chance to really hammer down Biden. I mean, it's only him and Biden at this point. He doesn't have a bunch of other cam candidates trying to chime in and say their two cents and try to revive their flailing campaigns. You know, it's just Sanders and Biden. Now, Tulsi Gabbard, Representative Tulsi Gabbard, um, was supposed to be there to debate, but they're keeping her out of the debates, even though she met the, the donor threshold and, um, and the percentage wise, uh, they're saying that she didn't actually meet it because they changed the rules on her at the last minute. She won her two delegates. She has her donors, but they changed the rules on her. So she can't, uh, be a part of this debate, which I think is very unfair. You know, it'd be awesome seeing Tulsi Gabbard up there debating with Bernie Sanders and, and Joe Biden. Really? Like it, it would be something to see. But that's not what we're getting because we have a corrupt DNC. Um, so again, this is going to be Bernie Sanders versus Joe Biden. Bernie really needs to hammer Joe on, on his uh, disastrous trade policies, his horrible war uh, vote for um, the war in Iraq, um, his mental instability. I mean, his, his, his mental decline. Like, he has to attack Biden on this because I understand that their friends or Bernie Sanders wants to say every establishment tool that's a Democrat, he wants to just call him his friend. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I get it. But this is a run for president. Like this is a campaign. You're campaigning against each other. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're, you're debating against each other. You need to, to hammer these facts out. And of course it's clear for everyone who's watching that he's in mental decline, but you, I feel as though Bernie needs to say it. Like you got to say it though. You got to say it, especially when this is the, the most highest position, you know, in the world, basically. You're the leader of the free world. You're the leader. You're, you're the commander in chief. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have all your marbles there. You know what I'm saying? Like, And it's clear that Joe Biden does it. And what's even more painful and even more clear is that Bernie Sanders refuses to call him out on it. And he's already said that he wouldn't. He said that that's up for the American people to decide. So that's a damn shame, you know, uh, Bernie Sanders for, for everything that he's done for the movement, for everything he's, you know, put into the limelight and, you know, I'm, I'm forever grateful, but he, he always seems to let us down when it comes down to it. When it comes down to Bernie Sanders actually fighting and going toe to toe with people that he says represent the establishment, people that he says wouldn't be uh, working class heroes, like wouldn't be um, working for the working class people. You know, these are the same people he calls friends. Like, he he refuses to go against them. You know, he refuses to play hardball with them. Like, remember back in 2016 when he didn't want to talk about Hillary's emails and that ended up being a big thing? Like, come on, man. We gotta, we gotta really get it together. You know, um, Bernie's campaign, you know, enough is enough. You know, throw civility out the window. People are literally dying in the streets. People are dying, you know, because they don't have quality health care or any health care at all. You know, people are going broke. People are suffering. We don't have time for you and your buddies to throw softballs at each other and play footsie. We need you to fight for us. We need you to take this seriously, as seriously as the people that you have on the ground talking to people for you, Bernie Sanders. We need you to be as serious as those people. And again, I, I love Bernie Sanders for everything he's done, for putting Medicare for all um, in the limelight and making it a popular 
uh, policy. You know, for talking about the Green New Deal and talking about free college tuition and talking about, you know, getting us out of the regime change wars, all of it, I appreciate them for, but it's not enough to just talk about it. You actually have to be about it. Not to say that Bernie Sanders wouldn't fight for Medicare for all, but he has an issue fighting against the people that fight against Medicare for all. People that he likes to call his friends. Bernie Sanders is going to have to get over that shit real quick. If he's going to hope to win this election, and then he goes around saying, well, I think Joe Biden can win against Donald Trump. You're not supposed to say that, Bernie. You're still campaigning, bruh. You're still in this race. You're trying to differ differentiate, uh, differ differentiate, I can't even say the damn word, yourself from Joe Biden. One way to do that is to highlight how you are more electable. Highlight how you can beat Trump. If you don't want to say that Joe Biden will lose against Trump, that's fine. But at least don't say it then. Just say, you know what, I want to talk about me and my campaign. I know for sure that I can beat Donald Trump. I don't know about Joe Biden. You know, like, we need Bernie to really fight for us. And not only that, progressives, progressive-minded folks, people who believe in human decency. We need to start thinking past these elections. We need to start thinking past Bernie Sanders. What are we going to do? If Bernie wins, it's still going to be a Republican Senate. It's still going to be a, a Democratic uh, House majority that, that you know, uh, fights against us at every turn. What are we going to do if Bernie Sanders loses and we have a Joe Biden candidacy? If we have a Joe Biden versus Donald Trump, what are we going to do then? What are we going to do if Joe Biden fucking wins? What are we going to do if Donald Trump wins again? which is looking likely the way everything is going. Honestly, I think it'll take a political miracle to get Trump out of office now. Because we are not together as a group. We're not together as a people. We're so divided, even within the progressive wing now of the party. We're, we're still, we're so divided. We're more divided than we were in 2016. We're more divided than we were in 2016. The reason why the establishment is doing so well because they all coalesce behind their guy. They all coalesce behind one person. They saw, they see the bigger picture of what they're trying to accomplish and their agenda. We need to do the same thing. A, a, absolutely, we need to do the exact same thing. We got to coalesce behind um, a set of ideas and principles and don't, you know, uh, don't shy away from that. We have to really be about it. And that includes criticizing our heroes like Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Tulsi Gabbard, whoever your hero is, you should be able to criticize them. If you find yourself unable to criticize the person that you hold near and dear, then I think you need to reevaluate. You need to reevaluate and, and rethink about it. I'm criticizing Bernie Sanders because I, I like Bernie Sanders and I want the progressive movement to go far. I want us to really make a change in this country. That's why I criticize. I criticize Tulsi Gabbard because I really like Tulsi Gabbard. And she let us down a few times. Bernie Sanders let us down a few times with a few different votes. You know? So we, we, we have to absolutely be able to hold these people accountable for what they do. And if we can't do that, then we deserve a Donald Trump presidency. If we're unable to hold our, our politicians accountable and hold their feet to the fire, even if we like them, even if we know them, then what good are we? Then we deserve all this shit because we're not there yet. We don't have enough mental capacity or capability of thinking past today. You know, so th this is what I really hope. I hope Bernie Sanders has a whole new approach in tonight's debate it starts at 5 p.m pacific standard time 8 p.m eastern standard time so hopefully um i'm not going to be able to catch it when it's happening but hopefully i'll be able to see a little bit of at least a little bit of it later and hopefully bernie sanders does what he needs to do joe biden is not a strong candidate he's telling everybody to vote for somebody else he's yelling at voters He's disrespecting veterans. He's too touchy-feely with, with, with people in general. You know, I, this guy has issues and he should not be running for president right now. So, Bernie, this is a, this is a layup, bro. This is a layup. 
We need you to lay this up and get this done. All right? Man. So, um, again, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video if you like, share it, and subscribe. I hope Bernie Sanders has a new approach today. I really hope he does because if he doesn't, as of right now, it's not looking good for the progressive movement. It is not looking good. And when you have, you know, the, the guy in the front of the pack, Bernie Sanders, leading the progressive movement, and he's flat out saying that Joe Biden can beat Trump and he's going to go ahead and support blue no matter who. It's not looking good. So again, we need, we need to think past Bernie Sanders. We need to think past elections. We need to really all come together as a people, like the individual people on the ground, you. I, I pointed at me. Me, you, you, me, you over there, you over there, you over there. Like everybody needs to come together, link up, and really discuss and have that discussion of, of what we need to do to push our politicians over the progressive edge. Or to get our progressive policies enacted. Because most of the American people agree with Medicare for all and free college and all of these other progressive policies. That's apparent. But we need to really drive the point and make it so that the establishment, the establishment has no choice but to comply. You know, we can't give them the option to maybe, uh, well, these people don't agree with you and these people. No, we, we have to give them no choice. They must comply with the American people or else. All right. So until next time, I'll be racking my brain thinking and hoping and praying and wishing <laughs> that Bernie Sanders has a new approach tonight. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, love, peace, and light. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.